everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Now, with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about Bryce Huff. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a lot of people, you know, talking about Bryce Huff right now. And uh, one of them is Brian Costello, Jets beat writer. And he recently basically said that the New York Jets, you know, pretty much should let Bryce Huff just walk into free agency and not get anything back for him. And I've got to address this because I, I vehemently disagree with this take, okay? Now, for starters, Brian Costello sat down with a Jets content creator and they were talking about Bryce Huff and what the New York Jets could possibly do. And the Jets content creator asked Brian Costello, okay, about the possibility of the Jets franchising Huff and then making a trade. And I want you folks to hear what Brian Costello, Jets beat writer, had to say about this. Here's the footage. Would you rule out the possibility of us tagging Bryce Huff and then trading him and recouping a second round pick for him? Yeah, I would rule that out, Connor, because I, I I understand Bryce Huff's a very good player and Jets fans love him, right? But yes, he's he's not a like you know, if you're looking at this from, you know, let's say you're a fan of the Denver Broncos, right? And Bryce Huff comes up, you. Are you going to sell like that? You're going to now you're going to trade picks and pay this guy. Like that's a lot for Bryce Huff. He's he's he had a good year this year. He's a good player. But like you do that kind of thing for like Nick Bosa, <laughs> right? Like if you're giving up picks and a huge contract, this guy better be like on his way to the Hall of Fame kind of kind of player. I, I just I'd be shocked if they did that with Bryce Huff. Uh, you know, it's a fascinating negotiation, but I don't think they're going to use the the, the the franchise tag on him. But, you know, we're going to see how that goes. We'll, we'll learn more over the next month with that. All right. You guys saw it. OK, he said, hey, listen, shot it down. He said the Jets franchise tag is not happening. And basically they should let him walk because the possibility of them trading him, uh, getting capital back and then a team giving him a deal is basically only something that happens for Hall of Fame pass rushers. He did say that Huff was a good player, but not a Hall of Famer. Here's the deal. I believe that the New York Jets should definitely try to re-sign Huff. That's my position. But I'm going to put that aside. If you cannot re-sign Bryce Huff, okay, you must franchise him and get some type of capital for him instead of just letting him walk for nothing. That would be really, really bad for the New York Jets. And another reason why I disagree with Costello's take is because to trade a guy, get some capital, and for a team to also give him a deal is not something that only happens for players that are Hall of Famers. That's something that happens in the league pretty frequently, okay? And it's, I'll give you guys some examples of this. Montez Sweat, okay? He's a good player, not a Hall of Famer. The commanders realized... We're not gonna we're not gonna re-sign this guy. We're gonna move on from him. They also moved on from Chase Young as well. They traded him to the Niners. But Montez Sweat was traded to the Bears, right? They realized, hey, we're gonna move on from him. We're not gonna re-sign him. We're, we're, it's not gonna happen. Let's get on. Let's get some capital back. They trade Sweat to the Bears. The Bears give the commanders a second round pick, and then they gave Sweat a four-year, $98 million deal, $72 million guaranteed. Montez Sweat is a good player in this league. He's a solid player, but he's not a Hall of Famer, right? He's not a Hall of Famer. And that's not the only example that I have of, of teams trading players, even players that have been franchised, trading them, getting capital, and then teams, you know, moving forward. You look at Yannick Ngakwe. Yannick Ngakwe, good player, not a Hall of Famer, okay? Not a Hall of Famer. Yannick Ngakwe was on the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jacksonville Jaguars knew Hey, he's not going to resign here. They franchised him. They looked for a trade partner, and they found one in the Vikings. They traded Yannick to the Vikings, okay? They got a second-round pick and a fifth-round pick, and the Vikings were prepared to pay him. Things just didn't work out there. The Vikings then ended up trading him to the Ravens. 
But here's the deal. The Jacksonville Jaguars got capital back for a guy that they franchised. They didn't just let him walk out the door and got nothing back in, you know, nothing back, nothing to recoup. They didn't do that. They said, hey, we know he's gone, but we're going to get something so that we can continue to build our franchise. And that's exactly what they did with those picks. So this idea that this does not happen in the league is not true at all. And it, it doesn't just happen for Hall of Fame players. No, listen, it, it, this stuff happens all the time, especially when you look at pass rushers, right? Because pass rushers, we know, are a premium in this league. It's a passing league. If you can get a guy that can rush the passer effectively, teams are going to pay. They're, they're going to give you the capital necessary, especially if they're struggling at pass rush or they feel like they need to boost it to get better and really take that next step. So the idea that you just let a pass rusher walk in this league is insanity to me, okay? Now, I want to talk about getting Bryce Huff signed, okay? Because that's my position. I want to see Bryce Huff remain a New York Jet for years to come, and here's why, okay? When you look at the New York Jets, we are in a Super Bowl or bust season. We all know that. Aaron Rodgers is coming back. He's going to be fully healthy, okay? And a lot of people are like, hey, listen, Jets got to make the playoffs. Jets got to push. Jets got to be in that final game to get that ring. You know what I'm saying? We got to get that trophy at the end of the day. Well, guess what? If you look at the litany of quarterbacks that are in the AFC, they're monsters. Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Watson, uh, Herbert, okay? Lawrence. What about C.J. Stroud, who... <laughs> That that guy, that guy's crazy, okay? And it looks like he's going to do nothing but get better and better as time goes on. This is a young quarterback that's really putting it together. But the monster of all monsters, Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> this guy's in another Super Bowl this year. Let me tell you something. Ask teams, ask those teams, okay, that have faced him in the Kansas City Chiefs, ask them, if they would go in there with maybe one or two decent pass rushers. No. Most of those teams that faced him will tell you, if you don't have multiple guys that can get after him and get pressure on him and get him off his spot and throw off the timing of the offense, he's going to destroy you. We don't even have to ask them because we've watched this. As football fans, we have watched him literally destroy teams that couldn't get enough pass rush on him. I'm talking about put up 40 on teams that couldn't get guys to bend the edge and get after him, put 40 up on them, and dispatch them like they were nothing. We've seen this happen, okay? If the New York Jets allow Bryce Huff to just walk away, the next pass rusher, the next closest pass rusher that we have is Jermaine Johnson. Jermaine Johnson was actually second in the team in sacks, second on the New York Jets in sacks, he had 7.5 sacks this year. Bryce actually led the Jets in sacks. He had 10.5. Here's the deal. Jermaine Johnson, decent pass rusher. He put some things on. He's definitely a player that's continuing to take steps. He looked good this year. He got after the passer, but he also had a bunch of penalties this year too. Like that hurt us at times. So he's got to clean that up. But when you look after him, there's really big question marks. Will McDonald is the next guy. Had a rookie year this year. He looked all right, but Will McDonald was barely playing this season. He only had three sacks. You would be asking him to take a massive jump in year two to give you Super Bowl caliber pass rush. Is that realistic to ask him? And then you got to wonder, when is Jermaine Johnson going to hit that double-digit sack year? Because 7.5 is the most that he's had since he's been a Jet. So when you look at this situation, after those two guys, there's really nothing. Don't talk to me about John Franklin Myers being a sack monster because we've tried to rely on that before and it didn't work. When you look at this rotation, the pressure from Jermaine Johnson and Huff and McDonald when he's used in it sparingly, that's what provides that get after the quarterback, that pressure. But Huff, for sure is the guy that really puts the gas in the engine to make it go when we talk about pass rush with the New York Jets. So, I think they should resign him. And I think they should try their best. I don't know. You can finagle contracts a lot of ways. But the Jets have to bring him back. And if they cannot bring him back, 
the New York Jets must franchise him and get some type of capital back for that guy before they just let him walk. That would be a massive mistake for the Jets. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about what Costello had to say about Bryce Huff? Uh, you know, basically, the Jets should let him walk away. Do you think that's the way the Jets should handle the situation? Do you think the Jets should franchise him and try to trade him? Or are you, like me, a fan of trying to make sure that Bryce Huff remains a New York Jet for the rest of his career? Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. You folks have a good one. Peace.